Let's get an offline map installed for APRS Droid. Stick around and we'll get right to Real it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. One of the cool new features of APRS Droid on the phone is the ability to have offline maps. Now, you do need to be running the fork of APRS Droid by NA7Q. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below so you can uh, find it and get it loaded up on your Android device. But now, let's go ahead and jump over to this computer that's right behind me and show you guys how easy it is to get an offline map installed. All right, now we're going to start at this particular website here. This is extract.bb, that's bravo bravo bike. Dot org, and I'll leave a link to that down in the description below as well. Up here in the top left, you're going to see that I've got the map type set to MapsForge OSM. We're going to have to name the area that we're downloading, and then you need to give it an email address because it takes a few minutes for this thing to extract the map you're looking for, and uh, it will send you a link to download it once it's done. All right, so first thing to do, I'm going to call this Mississippi. And then we're going to come over here and I'm going to start zooming out. For some reason, it always centers the map right over here in Germany, probably because this is a uh, German service or a German ham that uh, provides this service. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the state of Mississippi because that's one that I don't already have downloaded. I do have Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and Florida I believe is what I've got right now. But we're going to zoom in a little bit closer to Mississippi because we do have limits on how much we can download at any given time. Let's see if I can go one more zoom level in. Yeah, that's going to be a little too close. So we'll back out one. Now, the what we want to do is right over here, we want to click right here to create a bounding box. Now that just gives us this great big box uh, over on the left side and all we can really do with it is kind of make it bigger or smaller and then move it around and that's uh, not optimal. So back over here again on the left I'm going to say add points to the polygon and what that's going to do is after we click on it again now we get different points that we can move around. So let's take this and let's start uh, moving everything up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this kind of up close to uh, the top of the state and then we will move this down closer to the bottom of the state. And uh, somewhere right in there, maybe, I believe that gets into Louisiana a little bit. Now, nice thing is, you can take these individual points and expand them out, so you can take a little bit more time and get this way more precise than what I do, or what I've gotten it right here. Uh, if you notice up here in the top left, it is 69 megabytes for this file, and it's going to take three to four minutes to extract it. So after we click extract, you'll have to wait uh, whatever time this says. And I find that it's uh, pretty close to accurate. Usually it takes just a touch longer than what they indicate right here. But I think that also depends on how many people are using the service. So let's go ahead and click the extract right there and you'll get this. You know, on this screen it says two to seven minutes to do that extraction. So we'll wait for that email to come in and then I'll show you guys how to load this in APRS Droid. All right, so here's the email that I received from BB Bike. Uh, and it's got the name of the extract that I named it uh, when we were on the website. It's calling it Mississippi. Right here is the link, so let's just go ahead and click that and it will take us over and begin that download. Opening up the Downloads folder, you'll see that file right here, so I'm just going to right-click and extract it. And let's go into that folder, and right here, this is the file that we're looking for. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename this before I send it over so I know exactly what it is. It's a little easier to find on the map, so we'll just name it miss.map. Don't change the .map, though, on it. Now, I need to go ahead and get that to the phone, and here's a bonus tip for you guys that you may not be aware of. I use an application called LocalSend. It is cross-platform and literally runs on everything. Windows, Mac, Linux, iPhones, Android, runs on all of them. So, I'm going to use LocalSend to send that file over to my phone. So, let's go ahead and pick a file. 
we'll choose that mist.map that we created. We don't need the others. You can read through those uh, if you like, but we don't need those particular files. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that, and then I'm going to choose to send it to my phone. That's at Graphene OS right there. Let's go ahead and get that moved over, and we're done. Now we can go ahead and jump over to the phone. All right, so now that we're on the phone, I have just opened up the File Explorer on the Android device, and you'll see that mist.map right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move it into this directory here, where you can see I've already got several other maps downloaded. So let's go ahead and go back to that. I'll just touch and hold on that, and we will move that file. Let's double check that. We'll just go into the maps uh, directory, and yep, right there is our mist.map file. Now let's check out loading this into APRS Droid. Again, it's fairly easy. In APRS Droid, let's touch the three dots up on the top right of the screen and let's come down to Preferences. Once we're inside of Preferences, we're going to enable offline mapping by touching that and now we have to tell it which map we want to load. If you look right below that where it says select Maps Forge V3 or MB Tiles map, you'll see that I've got Tennessee loaded right now. Let's go ahead and touch on that and we will choose that Mississippi map instead. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi right now and in fact, let's just put this phone in airplane mode. Do that and that'll shut everything down. Okay, so now that we're in airplane mode, let's go ahead and go back and let's touch on our maps. And you can see my area is actually going to be up here where you see all of the icons loaded on the screen. Down here is the Mississippi uh, map, or at least part of it. I wasn't real accurate on uh, getting that downloaded, but let's just zoom in. And guys, you'll be amazed at how much uh, detail you can get on this map. I'm going to keep going in on this map so you guys can get an idea of what we're looking at. And you can see it, uh, that may be the top zoom level. Nope, one more. So we uh, take that back. We got uh, two more zoom levels. So zoom 20, I believe, is the max. And you can see that we've got street level detail right there on APRS Droid. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to get offline maps loaded into APRS Droid. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.